530 on the nose. Let me get my laptop set up. It's our weekly Facebook live selling event. I don't do them the weeks of our monthly sales because of the work involved in getting all those vignettes up. So let me just get into here so I can, all right, we don't want to, we're not getting a good enough reception over here that's not picking up on my tablet here, laptop, Google Chromebook, whatever they call it now. See, there it is. Okay, good. Let me open that up. I have the sound off, so I'm not hearing any playback on that. So tonight I am in the Hip Chicks booth, and she is a 30% off vendor. I have pulled things from other vendors as well, things that I thought were kind of pretty cool and good prices for you. So um, I'll give it like enough, well, it's already 531. So we're going to dive right in. Uh, just so you know, we did have our last Facebook Live, our monthly, this past Sunday night for... Uh, Super Bowl, thank you for all that joined us. It was a very good event. Uh, we had a lot of great show specials, and a lot of people did very well with that. Our next monthly is Sunday, March 20th, and those are at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Hello. And uh, let's see. What else was I going to say? It was a busy day. It was a nice, busy day again. We've been doing very well. Um, a lot of people, I guess, had cabin fever with this cold weather, and today getting a little nicer. Got everybody outside. I've learned to keep water by me. So, um, what else did I want to mention? Everybody, let's see, who was in today working on their space? So if you haven't been in since last week, the Looking Glass came in and look, worked on her space today. Belmont Farmhouse was in. Jazzy Junk, which if you saw on Instagram or Facebook, I had put up a first dibs, but there was more than that stuff. I just kind of try to pull the things that I know are of interest to the usual suspects who follow us and, and like our page. So... If you see anything, hello, Sidon, Asil, Larry, Carrie. If you see anything, it's simple as you just say sold and whatever the item is for our Wednesday night event. If you're local, just let me know when you're coming to pick it up and I'll put your items up on hold for you. Super easy pickup Wednesday through Sunday. If you're not local and you need something shipped, we do ship the smaller items. We are located in Andover, New Jersey. Our zip code is 07821. So without further ado, hello, Christina. This is not super old, but it's circa 2000, so got only three years, and this will be considered vintage. What I love on this globe, look at this base, and it is a metal airplane. It's a standard globe size. This is from Redreamable. It's just $32 with this really cool airplane base. I just love that. So let's see. We still have Russia because it's 2000. As you know, USSR was gone by then. So it doesn't have any of the, the rays on it. You know how like some of them have the mountains and stuff? It's just a general globe from 2000. And I don't see the brand, if it's a Repoggle or whichever brand it is. But it's very easy to read. But like I said, here we go. External fountain out. Just super easy to, to read. And I love this base. And that's just $24 for the jet-based globe. And that's from our vendor, Redreamable. Like I said, I am sitting in the hip chick, so if you see anything behind me that you want more information on, just let me know and I will gladly pick that up for you. You can see the tip of this coming on up. This is a railroad oiler from our Burning Sensation Antiques, an Eagle 400, $36. So you would just have the oil in here and you'd squeeze. I don't want to squeeze because it does. there might be some in there. Just to get into the locomotive or any other area, let me tell you how tall that guy is. If you collect oilers or you just want a really cool piece, it's a nice one. Eagle 400 oiler, and that is 32 and a quarter inches tall, and that is just $36. I grabbed this from Andover Junction. It's a nice empty Charles Chips tin. I don't know if you used to get Charles Chips weed, and I always felt so sad. I was always jealous of my cousin. Because my Aunt Hilda and Uncle Herman always got the Charles chips delivered to their house. They always had these potato chips. This is a nice clean one. And that is just, how much are you? Slippery little tag. $12 for the Charles chips tin. You got it, Christina. Let's put that one for Christina. And it is super clean inside, so you can actually use that one still. It's great when your vintage finds are also practical. 
fun storage solutions. And if you're looking in the magazines and everything, that's totally what's in right now. I don't think it ever goes out of style. Vintage is always fun to decorate with. I grabbed this from On Second Thought. She makes these lazy, well, she doesn't make the lazy Susan, but she makes the design on them. So she'll put a transfer on it and she seals it. This is a nice little gingham print with the rooster. Poor Susan's lazy. And just $32. I forget the diameters on this. I was watching Curb Your Enthusiasm from, I think it was like two seasons ago with the uh, lazy Susan. And this woman got all bent about it. It's 15 inch diameter saying that, you know, it's, it's, it's not right to call it a lazy Susan. And because we had been talking about this about a month ago, I was saying to Don, I'm like, how lazy was you know, this poor woman Susan comes up with this fantastic invention, larger ones and everything, where everybody at the table, you just kind of spin it around to you. And Susan came up with the idea and they called her lazy over it, you know? It's just, that was one of our jokes. So that's just $32 for that. Our vendor, The Looking Glass, just brought this in. And for this month, I don't know if she's going back to 20% next month, but currently she still is at 30%. So this becomes $24.50 for this gorgeous blue satin compote. I don't see anything wrong with it. No maker's mark, and that is pretty heavy. Yeah, right, poor Susan. This is a little over seven and a half inches tall. And the diameter is, is about eight and a quarter inches. So and that's from our vendor, The Looking Glass. I'm losing my chair, it always goes out for me. I grabbed this because uh, Vintage Crush just brought this in and it's a really good price, just $5.60. This is an actual Yankee candle, little ceramic lampshade that inserts into a little, yeah, this is a pretty color into this little candle that comes with it. It doesn't say what brand the candle is, but this just sits right in there, makes it a little cute, adorable lamp for $5.60. Super easy to ship that. It has like a vanilla scent to it. And that's five and a half inches tall on that. Also, this just came in. I grabbed this, it's really cute. It's just six by five, not old. It's a watering can door knocker for just $8 from our auntie's attic little metal thing. I think it's adorable. And even if it's not for your front door, how cute is that on your she shed? When it comes up, you know who they are, who's coming in. And that's just $8. Perfect for the garden. Or even on like your gate, how cute is that? Perfect little garden accent for just $8 on that. And I also grabbed on my way, because our next holiday is St. Patrick's Day. Also the day that Don and I got married. So it'll be our 21st wedding anniversary this year. So this is just $6 for the window hanging shamrock. It has this cute, nice little chain on it. It's a three leaf sh uh, clover shamrock there, stained glass. And the diameter's on, and it spins because I'm trying to measure it and it's not letting me. You got it. So this guy is just four and a quarter inches. It does spin, so if you hang it somewhere else that it's got a little room to spin. And that's just $6. Yeah, I like that little door knocker too. It's very cute. And it's nice because it's small enough that you could use it indoors too. It's not too, you know, in your face. And we keep forgetting to tell you, seal. you have the two Christmas tree pin cushions from Norm's Knickknacks. We have those for you too. So remind me the next time you're in, we'll put this with that. So, all right, let me put that down here. All right, and like I said, I grabbed a lot of stuff from everybody's when I was running around. It's for your she shed, see? I can't say that 10 times fast. I grabbed this guy, he's $12, he's a little Popeye nutcracker. You just put your nut in there and twist his head and he cracks your nut there for you. That's a nice little vintage guy right there. And then I grabbed, grabbed these and then when I was walking up, Leah was here. We were dying because and I'm not going to go into details, but you'll be able to see. The lids on these are a little bit beat up, but these are beautiful blue $7.20 uh, salt and pepper shaker. Uh, they measure with this, with this uh, 
lids there, six inches tall for the, the blue glass salt and pepper shakers. Okay. Anyway, I grabbed this because I thought it was just so cute. It's a little funnel. It's three and a half, uh, three and a quarter by two and a half. Small enamel little funnel from Auntie's Attic for eight dollars. I just thought this was so cute. Beautiful enamel wear, very good shape, cute decorative piece, and you can still use it. I'm not seeing, you know, very cute little guy. And that's super easy to ship as well. For those just tuning in, if you've never watched before, this is a live from Gray Barn in Andover, New Jersey. You just say sold, and you can pick up the items if you're local. If not, things like this, we will gladly ship. I just need you to message me afterwards your zip code if you've not bought from us before, and we'll get you an invoice out. Oh, this set, this is a set, four piece set, or eight if you include the lids. This is the largest of it. This is a canister set, it is metal. They're apples, they're green apples. All right, this is the large one, it has super handles with these green leaves. I'm gonna tell you the price on this, you're not gonna believe this. $9.60 for this gorgeous metal apple canister set. That's the large one. Got the baby here. This is the next size down. They're all the same, just different sizes, and they're aluminum with the green paint on it. There's a little mild paint loss. I am not seeing any major dents or anything with these. And it's $9.60 for all four of these. We could ship these. It'd probably be in two boxes, but this is a shippable thing. The weight won't be much on them. That one's still got a little tightness to it. The handles, the knobs are a screw on, so you can tighten them if they do loosen, but they are not loose at all right now. And it's just an amazing set. And then the little guy. So you get all four of these beautiful metal apple canisters, and they have like brass leaves on the top. These little handles, $9.60. The avocado green making a comeback. These are great kitschy little things. 1950s, 60s kitchen. I, I, you can't go wrong. You got it, Sidon. I knew somebody would have to, because that's just, she brought those in. I'm trying to figure out where I was going to put them, but I just don't have room for them. But that price, you just can't pass that up. I was like trying to figure out if I could put them in my general store and put some of the candy in them or something, but they're round, so they wouldn't really nestle very well for me for what I needed. I grabbed this. It's a very pretty, it's not marked on the bottom. It's this very light green, like mint green little planter from uh, the Looking Glass. And like I said, she's 30% this month. So this is $8.40 for the Lime Floral Planter. No maker's mark, does not look like it's been used yet. And that measures, and again, that's just $8.40 for that pretty piece of pottery. Four and a quarter inches tall. The diameter is five inches. So a nice little lime green ceramic planter. We're getting ready for that time of the year. So when you see your planters, I grabbed this from Betty's Treasures. It's a pretty cookie, rooster cookie jar, no glue. He's just $16. He's got the glossy finish. She does have him taped up. I'm not seeing, I don't feel any condition issues there. I don't see anything wrong with him and he's just twenty dollars yes we can ship him feels like it would be about three pounds total for the package on that it's a mild crazy but he's a nice old one and that's just uh what did i say 16 yep 16 dollars on that she just reduced it i have oh yeah this i grabbed this has been recently reduced uh to twelve dollars this is a whole it's a pale yellow it does have a chip in the base, but it was glazed right over. So it's manufacturing. I think a lot of these people would do this stuff and then just throw the glaze on it, throw it in. Oh, the boss will never notice, you know? So these probably ended up in, you know, the factory second, the floor pieces. And so this little guy is just $12 now. It's this beautiful pale yellow. And it's four inches tall for the little hull, double-sided, same flowers on both sides. Very clean inside. Doesn't look like it's been used. And this is glazed throughout, so you can use this. And that is just twelve dollars. Okay, that's part of the apple. I grabbed this piece. We've been selling and seeing in the, the one thing that never seems to go out of style is your ironstone. 
And that's always featured in all the magazines that I see every year. There's always, somebody's always got these amazing Ironstone collections. So I grabbed this one from Ironstone Central. It seems to be Nanny Goat. She's had a lot of the Ironstone that we've been selling. And this is the older. This is Elmsmore and Foster. This is a nice lidded casserole for $24. There are some minor little chips and kind of stains in it, as is common with this. And keep in mind, Ironstone is quite heavy. So and it does have the lid. The lid does have some crazing in it. Nothing serious. Still usable. It doesn't quite sit 100% flush the lid. So that Ironstone piece is just $24. Try not to pick anything that I've got down here. And I have just a couple things from other vendors. And then, like I said, please, anything you see behind me that you want, let me know and I'll grab it up for you. I grabbed one of these because these are always practical. This is a glass bake for Sunbeam small mixing bowl from Belmont Farmhouse. And this is just $8.40. No chips. It's got the little pouring spout. So these are great little mixing bowls. You can pour it right out. They make, if you have um, a good dog bowl or whatever, nice glass piece. And that would go with your mixer. If you don't have the mixer, it could stand alone. And that's just $8.40. Nice and clean piece there. And I grabbed this because I thought it was pretty neat. My mom used to, have a, she used to have a thing for these oval and the round lidded vegetable dishes that she used to get every time we'd go to the flea market. So she had a lot of these when they were good prices. And this one is Art Deco. Let me just take off the lid because we know how bad I am with the lids. This is from Tamsware Semi-Porcelain Made in England. It's an Art Deco. It's got this beautiful floral pattern on it. And it's just uh, $14.00 for this very pretty springy little lidded vegetable. And you can still use these. I do recommend hand washing so that you're not damaging the paint. As you can see, this one is just ceramic. It's glazed inside, nice little piece. And that's just $14 for that one. And what else did I grab from other people? Oh, I grabbed this because I thought it was cute. And I've been seeing this a lot in on Pinterest and interest, uh, Instagram. The copper and brass with the porcelain handles. This is a smaller bowl. And that is 960, it's six inch diameter. It's got those, those uh, Delft style porcelain handles. Now Delft just, when people say Delft, a lot of people just think it's the blue and white. Delft is actually a region in Holland and that's where those products were made. So it's not always the blue and the white, it's just where it was made. Kind of like when people say Murano glass, that's not correct. Murano is an area in Italy where that glass is made and you'll see it on there. So I've seen in some of the groups where people were saying, Oh, that's a, a piece of Murano made in China. No, Murano is made in Murano, Italy. Delft is made in Holland, but people will say Delft and think of the blue and white. So that's when people say that. It's, it's a misnomer. So on a lot of these things too. Oh, and I grabbed this because I know mermaids are always sought after. And this is also from our Belmont farmhouse. She just brought this in. This is a Royal Dalton Old Salt Toby mug that just came in and by Gary Sharp it's made. This is a huge captain and it says Old Salt on the back here. And this is $28 for the Royal Dalton Large Toby. It has the mermaid handle and that is, let me see how tall that is. Like I said, this thing is big. It's like a pitcher. It's got a little lip here on the side but the back is kind of open funny so you'd only be able to like fill it to here and kind of pour it at a little awkward angle there because the way he sits. So decorative, uh, more than functional. That is about eight inches tall and approximately eight inches wide. So, and that's just $28 for the Royal Dalton with the Mermaid Old Salt Toby mug. I think I got everything. Oh, I grabbed some other things that I know just came in from Good To Go. This is a copper and brass, copper finish sugar duster. This is a nice old piece. It looks like, I grabbed it at first, it looked like a funnel, but you got your little mechanism there, and it's a little sugar duster, and that's just $16. There's a little bit of dent to it, but I mean, most people really wouldn't use this. You'd kind of hang it up as a decoration, and that is also easy to ship. I grabbed these primitive wood paddle spoons that he brought in, little scoops. 
This one is 720 for this size. And then the small one, which is very primitive, it looks like somebody just carved it, like a kid carved it. This one's just $4.80. And you can see they used them by the water stains. And they wouldn't have sealed these. I mean, these, these were just like carved out of, the wood, out of the tree or wherever they got their wood. And that was it. You know, here's your little scoop. So this one is just $4.80. And this one's just $7.20. Perfect examples of primitive wood little paddle spoons at a fantastic price. And another thing I've seen that have been very hot on the Instagram when I see it. And then people link it to their Etsy stores. And they're getting a pretty little penny for all these kind of things. So something to keep in mind. Those just came in. Both scoops, you got it, Christina. Yeah, that's a very good price on those. And like we, we've always said, we encourage you guys to always feel free to check out Etsy, eBay, check out the worth points if you have it, and see what these things are selling for. And, you know, come back at us, and we'll gladly, you know, hold the items for you. And because we tell our vendors to price for less than what it's sold on eBay, Etsy, and just kind of build in the shipping. So when you come in, you're getting instant gratification. You're able to take those items whole and know that you got it for less money than if you shop the internet. So we try to keep our prices very reasonable here. So our, our vendors are very sharp shoppers. So this is made in America, made in U.S. America, Minute Maid. And this is a 1940s Minute Maid Madeline Pan Mold made in U.S. America, 12 openings, English ivy scallop shell plane, uh, <clears throat> plane, 12 and a quarter by nine and a half. So you have shells and ivy. Oh, price would help, huh? And that is $21. It has used condition, some rust. Very unusual though, Minute Maid making little molds like that. I was not aware of that. I need to take a quick sip of water. Then, uh, no risk of anybody biting into the fake fruit we have here. Ten fifty for the bag of assorted fruits. So that's a nice little kitschy MCM kind of thing. Uh, looks like there's grapes and apple, orange. It's like a little squashy guy in a pear, and they have like some kind of beading on them. And that's just ten fifty for the whole bag. Bunch of leaves in there as well. And I found that all this stuff sitting in this. It's not old, but it's made to look old. It's got the little star punches on it. Uh, punch star hole, two handles. It's a bucket. I would not use this. This is $17.50. But I mean, if you put a liner in it, you can put your fruit in it. Or it's a great planter with all those holes in it. The rust is not rust. It's that color of paint that they use to make it look older. Stars are not punched like to the point that you're going to get cut on it. And this diameter on this is 13 and 3 quarters and the height. And it does have two handles. The height on that is uh, 6 and 3 quarters inches. So again, this is a fantastic planter. We're coming up on that time of the year, folks. And when you go out looking for this stuff, not going to be cheap. So here at Gray Barn from our hip chick, just $17.50 for that one. Let's see. Was there anything in my perimeter that you wanted to see? She did bring these are very cute. This is a, ah, Valentine's decorations. This is, let me get my calculator. Okay, 0.7. Alright, so 28 becomes 1960. It's a three-piece, not old, three small cardboard suitcases with little farm animals on it. So this is the small one. Pink inside, nice and clean, little stackables. You can put them inside each other. This one has some pinking to it. And a little larger one. They're very cute. So, stack them, use them, very cute. Egg for just three fifty. This one is made in Japan, nineteen seventy two. To the house of a good friend, the, the wait is never long. 
and that's just 350 the textiles behind me there is where did I find you Holly there you go and try not to roll over things um, anyone in particular because I have oops, this is a tablecloth Right, is that what this is? Sunflower and farm tablecloth with three matching napkins. The tablecloth is 82 by 60 rectangular. It's just 1050. Sunflowers and cows and it has matching napkins. There is a crocheted afghan. Um, this is, what is this? It's a tiny apron. Crocheted apron for $8.40. It has like a blue ribbon through it. It's very pretty. It'd be cute hanging up. It's for, it's not, I mean, it's a tiny one. I mean, <laughs> 10 years ago I could fit in it, and not now. Um, there's an afghan, there's blue, uh, not blue, brown. Oh, somebody hung this up. With the back side too, it's a shiny brown on this side. This is a long pine cone runner. For just seven dollars, it is six feet by thirteen and a quarter inches wide. But I mean, if you wanted to, you could use that satin side. But I'm going to put it back with the with this side facing. So, you want any of the other ones? And then there's a so hooked rug. Is it? Or what is this? Hooked rug style rug. Every birdie welcome. Thirty-seven by twenty-four, and this is seventeen fifty. So that's what's hanging up on there. There are a lot of fabrics in here in uh, they're smaller pieces. Back in Jazzy Junk, she's got a lot of them available for sale. So come on in and check out all the fabric that's back there. And sometimes some of the other vendors have them. I know there's a couple of bolts. This fell out. Oh yeah. This is a, I'm eating my hair, handmade envelope sham, one pair, made in China. And that's a white, and that's just 1050, it's 21 by 27. So I'll have to put that back in the package. And I don't think there's any other. The afghan, the apron to Irene, hold on, the tablecloth to Simon, sorry, I stepped away. All right, so you want the tablecloth set. And we'll get the afghan in a moment. Yeah, that apron is darling, Irene. We'll start your pile for your next month's shipping. I'm just stepping over here so I can put stuff away and not wave my black marker and accidentally hit things. Okay. Ah, there we go. Let me get Irene on this one. Start your pile. And the Afghan is... Oh, it's soft. It's very soft. So that is 35 and 30 percent off. 67 by 46. Let me see how 35 becomes. Uh, solar operate. Here we go. So this is on sale for 24.50. And again, the measurements. I just had that. Where'd that tag go? Anyway, let me hold it up, and you can kind of see it. It's, it's very soft. It's a smaller one. It's like a lap one. A lot of great colors in it. And we do have a couple other, I don't see the afghans that were over there. There were some other afghans in here. There's the tag with the measurements. That is 67 by 46, and that's 24.50. You can see all the work in that, the colors. It's got a ton of colors in it. I mean, the only consistent color is the black that's holding all these different colorful little squares together. You got it, Sidon. Yeah, it's very soft. <laughs> I like that. All right. I have to put this stuff back. All right, folks. Well, we're wrapping it up. We're at 5:59. For our friends who are watching this after six o'clock, you are not watching this live. You are now watching it recorded. At that point, I ask that you just direct message me if there's anything that you saw in this video around me, or anything else that you might see that you need more information on or wish to purchase. Just direct message me. I'm going to wrap this up now and get everybody's goodies rather together. If there's anything that you ever want to see in any of the lives, I'm, I'm doing these Wednesday nights at 530. Let me know and I will do that. I will be doing tomorrow night and probably Friday night 
some new YouTube videos up for you as well. We sold a bunch of stuff from the one that we did two weeks ago, the Jazzy Junk. Ended up selling her fireplace screen and the tools as a result of that. So you don't have to come in person to shop. You can get anything you like. You just uh, take, take a screenshot, message me. You can leave us a voicemail. It goes to whoever contacted us first. So even if you see and you think you're the first one getting a hold of us online, if I come in and there was a voicemail from Sunday night and you're messaging me Monday morning, I'm going to have to go with the person from Sunday night. We just try to keep it fair. And uh, so if I say you might have it, you know, I don't know until I get in here and check the answering machine on Monday and Tuesdays. So you all have a wonderful night. I hope to see everybody tomorrow. Our weather's supposed to be a little bit better. And have a great evening. Take care. Good night. Get out of here. Hit the finish button.